afternoon. Huh? The word of God begins to uh, communicate to the church uh, that, 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 that God accusationally uh, accuses Jeremiah uh, of having an acquaintance with him uh, before he knew himself. Uh, Paul puts it like this. He said, those he did for you, uh, he did predestinate. Uh, in other words, he knew you uh, before you knew you. Uh, uh, my God, when there was no you, uh, he recognized that there was a you. Uh, and so whenever you you showed up. What he did was download it into your spiritual DNA. Now, my God, let me pause right there. That means divine nature and attributes. My God, I wish I could have preached. But they need the sound of the Holy Ghost. Before you knew yourself, God afforded himself the opportunity to mark you, to melt you, to mold you, to shape you, and to fill you. He afforded himself the opportunity, my God, to go ahead of you in time. Can I begin to suggest to you that God is the only person that you would begin to know who is going to be at your birthday and your funeral all at the same time. My God, you ain't going to beat God in this last half. You can duck him, you can hide from him, you can get in that bad relationship, you can find yourself a hooker, a stripper, a prostitute, you can be good at what you do. My God, you can be a dope dealer, not being your Holy Ghost. When God get good and ready, he's going to meet you right where you are. You're going to be coming into your door and God will be right there. I've been waiting on you, sucker. You've been all of your life. Now I'm going to use you. A great God, here I allowed you to believe that you was independent on your own. I allowed you to believe that it was because of you that you lived your move and you had your pain. But now you got to get it right. So he says to Jeremiah, before I knew you, I had an acquaintance with you. He accusationally accuses Jeremiah of having a relationship with him before his biological existence. He comes to the place where he begins to conclude to himself, not be in your Holy Ghost. That he says it does not have anything to do with your father or your mother. They were just instruments and tools and devices and mechanisms that I begin to use to incubate your existence. Your flesh ain't got nothing to do with this. Stop feeling sorry because you was born or a wedlock. Stop feeling sorry because your daddy didn't take care of you. The experience that you have is a unique experience. Spirit. He marked you before he knew you. He knew that you would have been abandoned. He knew that you would have been broken. He knew that you would have died. A my God during the accident. And it would have taken a doctor that he anointed to bring you back to life. He knew that you would have been broken. That is why he assigned somebody to mend you back to life. He has an assignment for your victory. He knows exactly who you are. He knows exactly where you are. He knows what you're doing when you're doing for what purpose that you're doing. I wish I had a set of people that was willing to come to a place of conviction tonight and make up in your mind that God is on my side. And if God is on my side, He going to deliver me, He going to free me, He going to heal me. I may not look like much right now, but if God puts His hands on my life, if He ever takes me to a place, provokes me to a place, if He leads me, He guides me, if He directs me and instructs me, the Bible lets us know trust in the Lord, and lean on unto your own understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall I feel the Holy Ghost, 